Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tips in Excel. My name is Alejandra Jorbat and today I'm going to show you how to uh, convert numbers into text with a specific format. For example, here I have a list of numbers right here on my column A. The, I want to convert these numbers into text. Uh, but I, this text needs to follow a format of a date. So here on for, um, cell C3, I'm going to say equal text. This formula, or this, sorry, this function is available since 2010 and 2011 for Mac. So it's going to ask me for the value. The value will come from my cell A3, comma, and it's asking me for the format as a text. So I'm going to provide that inside of quotation marks because it's a text. I'm going to say that I want two digits for the days, uh, dash um, one digit for the month. I provide one M dash, and I want four digits for the year here. And I have, I have, perfect. I close, oh, I, let me just close the quotation marks and then close the parentheses, enter. Here is how I convert this number into a text with a format of the date. If you don't have uh, Microsoft 365 or Excel 2021, where you can use a dynamic arrays, so what you do is you enter the formula here and then you drag it down or copy down. So you can copy this information to all the other cells with the other numbers, right? But in my case, I'm using Microsoft 365, so I'm going to delete all of this. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete from cell C4 and down below. And here, what I'm going to modify, instead of referring only to cell A3, I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to select all my range with numbers, and I'm going to press Enter. So here I have all my information, I have my range, and of course, I don't need to copy this down because that's why I'm using my dy dynamic arrays. I love that. <laughs> So next thing that I, oh, now this is when I will provide, I manually provide that format, right, to the function. I can also refer to a cell. So I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to just select C2. I'm going to click there. When I refer to a cell, I don't need to provide the quotation marks. So I'm going to just press enter and I get the same information, but now I can just refer to that cell and I can change that format any time that I want. Now, let's say if here I change my mind and for those days that are, like, let's say from one to nine, I want only one digit, I'm gonna press enter. And now you see that, for example, this five, two, and two only have one digit for the day. If I change it back for to this in the beginning and press enter, now you can see that these dates add a zero on, in front of the day, right? So I'm asking two digits for the days. Perfect. So I love to do this. And for that reason, let's copy this information. I have the formats here. So I'm going to explain each format to you. Uh, but first, before I start copying this formula to the other columns, I'm going to lock what is the column uh, A, because I'm going to copy that over. And I don't want that this reference moves. So I just uh, want to lock this information, uh, the, the column A, and also I want to lock, well, I, I can lock, in my case, it doesn't matter if I lock the row number or not, because I'm not copying this formula down because I'm using the dynamic arrays. But if you don't have dynamic arrays, you also need to lock the row because you are gonna copy this formula down below, right? So I'm gonna just uh, lock it to show you and I'm gonna press enter. So nothing happens here, but now I'm gonna control C, select the other cells where I want to copy this information. I'm holding and pressing the control key to select and I'm gonna control V. Excellent. Here I have all my information as date with the different formats. In this case, in the first case, you see that I have one M for the month and you can see that July and August, also September, and all the other months that have only one digit don't have a zero in front of that number. Here with this format, I have two M's for the month and I have zero in front of every single month that is only one digit. Now with the third format, I have three M's, which means it's gonna bring the first three digits of the name of that month. With four digits, it's gonna bring me the full name of that month. And here, this is a very cool one. 
with five Fs, I get the initial for that month. And in this case, I'm providing only two Ys, and that is just to bring the last two digits of the year. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.